top of the morning guys. If you guys haven't done so already, please do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, like the video. Get excited, today we are going to the last IFO. It's in Epping, New Hampshire. I'm taking my turbo car there. A few upgrades I'm gonna go over real fast. We did, we're doing World Cup Finals prep. So what that means is the car has to weigh 2,400 pounds, 200 pounds heavier than what I was originally running the car at. But we put the 6469 turbo, which meets class rules. Uh, so the car makes 100 more horsepower but it's 200 pounds heavier. So if we go slow today, you know, you guys you guys already know why. So we're going to Epping, waiting for my brother to get here. Should be a good day. It's like 50 degrees out today. Kind of cold, but hopefully the track prep is there. I need help though. I need you guys to help me pick out wheel options. And I'm looking for a front lip carbon fiber. I don't know who makes it. If you guys could kind of help me out in the comments, let me know what you guys think. I'm looking for like a, a really thin front lip. Well, I'll just give you guys a fast, fast walk around. Has carbon, carbon ceramic brakes. Car is insane. I fucking love it. I'll probably do a quick startup video before we, before I leave for you guys. But help me out. I need wheel options and then carbon fiber parts for the car. It already has a obviously the carbon rear spoiler. I was thinking about doing uh, wheel spacers. I don't know yet, so I really love the stock wheels. I need something like more aggressive. I do not want TEs. I want something a little bit different. I'm here to do a quick startup for you guys. Hopefully the quality of that was pretty good for you guys. But anyways, this video is not about this car. Uh, but I just need help picking out wheel options and some carbon options. Uh, let me know what you guys think. We're going racing today, so I follow the one day event, if you guys don't know. Uh, it's three rounds qualifying and then eliminations. I, I don't know if I'm running Force Induction Pro or uh, front wheel drive yet, but car's already loaded up. I'm gonna see if I could drop a dyno clip in here. When we was on the dyno, I'll probably just drop one video. And then, uh, and then yeah, wish me luck. Jesus Christ. Man, what a morning. We rushed to get here, the line was crazy. I'm sorry, it's super, super loud here. But the line was crazy to get in. We missed, we missed Q1. Literally missed it by like two minutes, so uh, I got the car checked in already, everything's good to go. My car, every time I take it to a track, it's good to go because all my safety equipment's on point, my cage is inserted, I have all my uh, gear, so pretty much good to go. But I missed Q1, that means only two more rounds of qualifying and then eliminations, hopefully everything goes good. Uh, super, super cold out today. I think everybody's wearing hoodies and jackets, but I'll show you guys the car we got checked in. I'm with my, uh, with my boy Mike from MPH Fabrication here today. But, Nippy, huh? It's cold, man. It's not cold yet. Check these dudes out, huh? <laughs> Yo, I'm here is something else. But only thing that changed on the car was the turbo. So turbo size now is a 64-69. So everything else stays the same. Right, bro. So PB in the car so far is 866. I don't know if we're gonna break that today because the weather is super cold. But miss Q1, ready for Q2. Got the battery on the charger right now. I got my boy Mike from MPH car here. I think it's bad. I think he went 7-6 already. <laughs> Check that shit out. Huh? Yeah, I'm Miz now. Call me Miz. <laughs> this is your job. This is your fabricator's favorite fabricator. <laughs> Mike, if you need me to jump in next, let me know. Fuck car slam. PB 
in the car, A66. I mean, it's getting a little warmer out, so. Yo, you cold, bro? You ain't got a hoodie? Fucking freezing. Let me get some, uh, I'm not even gonna say predictions. Just hope the car goes A to B. You wanna tell them tell what happened on camera, what happened yesterday? Let's go in the trailer real quick. The oddest thing happened yesterday. The what? The oddest, the weirdest shit. It always happens to us every single time. So we were a day early. So we're gonna, YouTube, we're gonna give you guys a quick story what happened yesterday. I uh, didn't film it because we were literally rushing to get here. Every time we're ahead, we're not ahead. So tell them what happened yesterday. So uh, the car made off the dyno. Everything was perfectly fine. I run the car. What's up? So Friday, set the car up. We had to load the car with the trailer and wipe, whatever, and get, get ready to go to the track. No oil pressure. So we're like, what the fuck? We just literally put a new oil pump in it not even a few weeks ago. I went to two events already with it. So we're like, all right, try, change the sensor. Maybe the sensor was bad. The sensor was fine. Then we ended up taking the oil pan down, took the oil pump out of the car, and there was a fucking, there was, you have a, like you a have piece a, of wire? Like a piece of wire or some type of a spring or something stuck in the diaphragm of the oil pump, which is fucking insane. And this was what, Friday morning? That's Friday morning. So, mind you, we're trying to find a B Series oil pump in time to make it to the track. Luckily, one of our friends, KJ, had one at his house playing around, which is crazy. Well, our friend Miz went to go get it and uh, brought it down to us. Drove to change it out real quick, put it in the car, start the car up, oil put over 100 psi, which is fucking insane. And then we had the corner balance and the line of car before the event, yeah. which isn't too crazy, but just to give you an idea, we got the dyno mint Thursday night at like almost one o'clock in the morning. Friday morning, oil pump took a shit. Friday night, the car is finished. You know, corner balance line, and we loaded it up, and fucking now we're here. So, cross my fingers, everything's still good. Losing an oil pump really isn't the greatest. If I would have lost an oil pump, even at like 5,000 RPM, I probably would need a new engine by now, a new block, but uh, let's hope everything is good. Ready for Q2. <laughs> Honestly, I'd rather have it happen at the shop than not happen here. Everything happens for a reason. I'm one of the big believers in that. Imagine that shit happened while you're making a hit. The motor would have been toast. You know? That's so lucky sucks. We caught it early, yeah. I think the car's fine. Q2, here we come. video a little short as you guys can see we're back in the truck can anybody guess what these are right here what are those <laughs> what are what are these right here it makes me want to throw up it makes you want to throw up same issue as last time the keepers fell out of the cylinder head so I'm pretty sure in the same cylinder as last time so pretty sure the valve is bent because the car has a misfire but it still runs like really light so I'm guessing either the rod is stretched in that cylinder because that's the same block from last time or the seat in the head is messed up. But somehow we're going to figure it out. I'm going to pull it back apart. It sucks because it was second round qualifying. We went up, ran the 10-2 and misfired right at the top of second gear. And then I just coasted it. I thought it was bad plugs, changed the plugs out. It wasn't that. And I took the valve cover off, found the keepers in the head. So 
which means the valve let it dropped a little bit. It's bent for sure. It's still good in there because the spark plug is still good, but we won't know till we take it apart. Shitty day today. I'd rather it happen here than World Cup because we're taking this car to World Cup Finals. Only got one cylinder. The keepers are right here. Keep a souvenir. Yeah, that's that. I'm gonna end this here. See you guys on the rebuild.